October 24th, 1881, will remain forever as one of the most memorable milestones in the annals of the entertainment world. For it was on this date in a little theater on 14th Street, just off Broadway, that the inimitable Tony Pastor startled the profession by presenting a straight variety show, or what was to become universally known as vaudeville. From the first, his venture was destined to success. Against the advertising drop, behind gas footlights, the igniting of which meant that the show was about to go on, and to the accompaniment of musicians, were presented the outstanding variety performers of the day. like that being number one on the hit parade of today? From this birthplace of humble simplicity, vaudeville spread to greatness, producing many of the brightest stars of the theatrical firmament. Perhaps one of the outstanding favorites of all time was Vesta Victoria. Oh, there was I, a white and at the church, a white and at the church, a white and at the church. And when I found he'd left me in the lurch, oh, Lord, now it did upset to me. All at once he sent around a note. Oh, where's that blinking note? Oh, this is what he wrote. I can't get away to marry you today. <laughs> My wife won't live to me. One of the most outstanding personalities of early variety in Portville was the original and incomparable Pat Rooney. Why, I'm glad I caught her, the daughter of Rosie O'Grady.
audiences thrilled to the clear silver tenor of the incomparable Andrew Mack singing, When Irish Eyes Are Smiling. When Irish eyes are smiling, sure it's like a morning spring. In the lilt of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world seems bright and gay. But when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they steal your heart away. And the girl who contributed something to vote Bill that never can be recaptured, Eva Tangway, singing, I don't care. I don't care, I don't care what they may think of me. I'm happy, go lucky, men tech, so jolly and carefree. I don't care, I don't care if I do get that mean and stony stare. My voice may sound funny, but it gets me the money, so I As vaudeville swung on with the turn of the century, it soon became the theatrical giant, supplying a list of household names that would prove well-nigh inexhaustible. But the ultimate, even for such well-known performers, was to appear at the palace. This house, opened in 1913, became the top rung of the two-a-day, and with a prestige never equal. Everybody needs an introduction From the smallest actor to the greatest star Now we're not here to boast Or say we're Broadway's toast Very modestly we'll tell you Just who and what we are We're terrific We're terrific We're colossal We're colossal Are we good? Yes, yes. We're even mediocre Mediocre Now for instance take the swank The swank The ones who own the banks The banks Say we're far above their ranks yes, yes. We're positively racker We're dramatical We're dramatical We're fanatical We're fanatical Say we can sew a button on the wall On the wall We're such great actors We can make the public think we're chumps We've entertained society in honky tonks and dumps. We've leaped across Grand Canyon and we made it in three jumps. We're the tops, we're the smartest guys in town. We're the tops, we're the smartest guys in town. Thank you. 
Gosh, applause and I'm finished. <laughs> I've been studying, well, not exactly singing, but singers. Did you ever notice the different types? Did you ever see a physical singer? A fellow who beats himself to death every time he sings a song? Give me the wide open spaces where a man can be a man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it didn't hurt. <laughs> Only I'll have to walk like this for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Did you ever see a suit singer, a hands-in-the-pocket singer? <clears throat> I fall in love with you Each time I see you And when you're near me I don't know what to do But did you ever see the girls? I watched the girls. No matter where you go, they all sing the same way. How do I know I love you? How do I know I care? Something here inside cannot be denied. Love gets in your heart. <laughs> I got a new thing on here, and it's a little tight. <laughs> Do you ever notice the girls? I notice in the, in the elevator where I live, the hotel, they always get in the back of the elevator. Say good morning. Say good morning. <laughs> I, I run, and I just put those on this morning. But you know, right here, Jimmy Durante was supposed to come out and introduce the next act. He's not here, so I guess I'll have to show you how I think Jimmy Durant might introduce the act. Well, what happened here? I come in with a bang. Where is she? I'm losing my snazzle. All right, you guys are working here. Come on, play something. Something beautiful. That's it. I can just imagine Paul Whiteman directing that beautiful number with that big baton he uses. Uh, why, that's Jimmy the fiddles in that. That's Stachowski. He directs like this. Just with the fingers. Durant ain't. Give me the, give me the brass now, Durant. Never mind, never mind. That's too good for Durant. Just, just give me the music I'm used to. Piano and drums. in my music. What is this? All right, give me the hat. What kind of a thing is this? I'm a little chick of these. I never saw the likes at all. My... Hey, wait a minute. What I'm supposed to be, Durante? I don't... Give me my own hat. The hat I paid for. That's it. I don't know who I am from one minute to the other. First, I'm Durante. Then I'm Fields. But now I'm Gar. That's the way I'm going to stay from now on. I, I am going to introduce the next act myself. This next scene takes place in Scotland. There you see a bar room in Scotland. You, you see a lot of Scotchmen buying drinks for each other. The name of the scene is The Miracle. I'll be seeing you.
anybody home? Ah, Shangri-La. 